Greetings and hallucinations to all you folks out there. I've got a strategic facepalm for you today. This one is going to be on the Twin Rivers, and it's in a relatively low range ranking. It is between 800 and 1200, a pretty well balanced game. Let's go ahead and introduce the players, and then we will jump straight into the epic fail. Tech Monkey is taking UEF in the brilliant lavender color, Belated Cube taking yellow Cybran, and Raptor Jesus taking Cybran on the red color. Raptor Jesus, you know you're in trouble when the Velociraptors start coming at you walking on water. There is nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. The Velociraptors are going to take your skull from your body. There is a ubiquitous player on the north. It is Seraphim, and there are all kind of puns that you could make with that, but I'm not going to steal your groans away from you, so I'll leave that one alone. Front color is going to take Seraphim, and Java is UEF. Let's go ahead and bump the speed up on this replay, and we will see where it takes us. Twin Rivers has a pretty well-established meta. It's going to be land spammy. There's going to be ACU upgrades. Air players are going to go for the islands, of course. And there is going to be a little bit of raiding, actually, this game. These guys are going to go right by each other. Question is, will they kill each other? The scout went to the left. And the vision radius... <laughs> <laughs> there is the first fail of the game that was literally an inch away from scouting that <laughs> and he sent the scout in a loop with the radar going around the lab so that lab is going to head into the back and probably get an engineer kill great job on that interception and then we've got a little bit of a run by on the left hand side this one's going to be a tank and artillery and a scout looks like we do have the drops coming out for both well no there's one there yes there's a transport building there will be drops from both air players belated cube has actually got two transports out he's going to go for the southern island and the northern island see how that works out for him and that lab is now up to Two kills. It got the veterancy. I think that was an engineer. Two engineers. No, one engineer and a mass extractor. So, great deal there. That vetted OP lab is going to move around towards the back of the base and then immediately get uh, obliterated by three tanks. Three tanks for a lab. I think that can handle it. What is the deal with this bomber up here? It keeps getting... Okay, there was a scout over this. It keeps trying to move away, and the anti-off-mapping uh, device that is now built into the engine is creating a stick for this bomber. It is looping right over the edge of the map and getting stuck, losing its move order, easing back onto the map, and then repeating the process. So Belated Cube has both islands now because this bomber has just completely and utterly failed. Belated Cube is moving up to the front. He's going to help out his teammate Tech Monkey take out all of these tanks here. And that bomber is still looping on top of the rock. Yes! It has finally unstuck. And it is going to drop a bomb and kill one Mantis. And loop back around. That is Belated Cube actually going to lose this island? That is quite astonishing. He was building there very early and completely failed to hang on to it. Now I've got engineers on the southern side as well. Got good rating going on from Raptor Jesus, walking his mantis right across the enemy's territory and swiping those mexes before the ACU can do anything about it. I see no response from Belated Cube. That is because Belated Cube cannot see this because it is built exactly in the lack of vision and there is no radar on the southern island. <laughs> I am going to laugh to no end if he loses both of the islands. And just so you know, I can laugh in good humor because Belated Cube is actually the one who sent me the strategic face palm. So if I laugh at him, it's okay. He called it upon himself. All right. That Tech One Bomber is still alive. It is going to come all the way across over here and start laying down some fire uh, belated Cube is the air player, and he has, to this point, not built a single interceptor that I am aware of. 
Um, he is building Corsairs, though, so I smell a Tech 2 Bomber Snipe. We'll have to see if he's successful because Front Color has a substantial amount of Interceptors, and he's actually dropping tanks. That is headed for the Southern Island. Let's see, that is a gun-upgraded commander and Tech Monkey, so that will be able to stop that group there. No problem whatsoever. And I think Belated Cube is actually going to lose that island. And he's going to lose two Corsairs to two Interceptors because Corsairs have terrible anti-air. They cannot do any damage hardly at all. Two air units. Not even going to be able to shoot down. Ah, there. One went down. And another Corsair drops. That, those two Interceptors are going to come very close to killing three Corsairs. That is quite hilarious. All right, got tanks on the southern island. Belated Cube is going to lose that one. We've got Java getting a little bit low on health, and I don't know if these guys have scouted. They have not. Those Corsairs in the back there. Um, yeah, I would be nervous about this. Ubiquitous did send some units over to his side to help out, but I think that may have been a mistake. Belated Cube is now hammering down on Ubiquitous with his ACU that is gun versus gun but ubiquitous has much lower health and I see Corsairs they have been spotted by front color coming in to try to intercept and I don't think it's gonna be in time bombs coming down 3,000 2,000 and dead ubiquitous has been taken out of the game belated cube is about 3,000 health he's gonna back his commander up like a good player would and that is one person down for the northern team. Ubiquitous is going to quit out of the game. Pushed out. We do not want you on the premises any longer because you are dead. Inevitably, there are always connection issues that forces people to quit. I don't know. People don't really spectate games that often, to my knowledge. All right, moving up now. Belated Cube is actually extending his commander again. 4,300 health. We've got a lot of units coming down from Java, and I do mean a lot. He has six factories, seven factories in production right now. Raptor Jesus laying down a nice overcharge there. Both of those commanders are going to be able to lay down fire on Java. Uh, Raptor does not have the gun upgrade. That is two very papery Cybern ACUs versus Java's UEF ACU with the gun upgrade. Belated Cube is going to run for his life, getting far, far away. Corsairs are going to come in for another snipe attempt. Interceptors coming in. Is this really happening? We're going to see another Corsair snipe. Yep. Who needs mercies? Cybern OP. No need for that kind of stuff. Oh, that was a Tech 2 bomber. Very nearly. Oh, no. 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 Don't die! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's great! Spamming the chat with uh, very poorly disguised currency. <laughs> oh my word. That one Tech 2 bomber ruining the game for Belated Cube. He killed two people with Tech 2 bombers and then got killed himself by the tool of his own design. So, I guess you could say he deserved it, what goes around comes around and all those old cliches, but that was actually pretty dang funny. All right, Front Color does have both expansion islands, a huge economy, very good power income, and he is pretty much set. If he can wall off the front and maintain his plateau and the islands, he actually has a chance of surviving this but he has to get busy building something he has a tech one acu without the gun upgrade and not a whole lot to stop all of this he has tech two bombers so that is a good thing but he's gonna have to work up an ingenious escape to survive this and i don't think it's gonna be possible he's coming down to six thousand taking a whole lot of hits Five units moving past to strike at the base. Three, 31. We've got a Tech 2 gunship out now. That is going to go down to anti air fire. 23. He's in the red, but the units are starting to thin out. Can he actually make this work? Is the question. 23. 
He is going to clear. He actually did just clear a better NC just a minute ago. He's running towards the south. Yeah, there's no way he can survive this much spam. He is dead. No other way to describe it. Second veterancy picked up. He has still got his overcharge. He has power storage in the back and plenty of power to do this with. 2,700 health. Looking for the next veterancy and not going to happen. Front color is down. All right, so it did end in a win after all. Belated Cube did not lose it all for his team, but that was uh, that that game hurt my head. That many T2 bombers, many many fighter bombers. The Corsair snipes are ridiculous. I will admit, Corsair snipes are probably one of the best snipes uh, as far as reliability goes in this game. Belated Cube did the right thing, but holy cow, that was an unlucky hit from that other Tech 2 bomber. And he could have easily dodged it if he just kept moving. So, yeah, that game, complete and total fail as far as lack of scouting. There were so many intel problems, buggy pathfinding, Tech 2 bombers everywhere. Ugh. It's like the gunships from some cast. Alrighty guys, that is going to wrap it up for this game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A little bit of stupidity to round out the day. It is the middle of the week, two days till the weekend, and uh, hopefully we'll get in three more casts this week. So I hope you guys will join me for those. As always, thank you so much for watching.